I did not expect this drama to be this good. I thought it was going to be a light-hearted romantic comedy, but man, was I wrong. And it's really, really good. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lighthearted comedy, a historical lighthearted comedy, of course. I love those things. Oh my god. Lighthearted romantic comedy. But uh, yes, I think that's still happening. Oh my god! I did not expect this drama to be this good right off the bat. I know that it's going to be a lighthearted comedy, but man was I surprised. During the Joseon period in Korea, the royal family gave birth to twins. But because it's a curse or an ominous sign to have twins, the crown prince is forced to kill the daughter. But the crown princess devises a scheme that allows the daughter to live and is sent off to a far off place. What makes this drama so interesting so far is that it does a great job at hinting at the political intrigue and the power struggles within the royal court. Fast forward to when the prince has grown into adolescence and we quickly find out that his twin sister is also a palace maid. You can quickly imagine just how the scenario can get very complicated. The acting from this child actress is amazing. Choi Myun Bin, who plays both Lee Hui, the crown prince, and Da Mi, the palace maid, provides you with so many emotional moments that makes the story shine. The twins encounter each other eventually, and this is where the story really sets off. Da Mi, who is the twin daughter, befriends the son of her enemy. They eventually grow feelings for each other, which sets in motion a series of unfortunate events. The prince decides to dress up as a palace maid in order to get out to see his teacher who happens to be facing the death penalty. Little did he know that their identities have been discovered which sets off a series of events that leads to his death. Dami, who is pretending to be the prince, is now forced to be the prince in order to keep the secret. I'm really enjoying this drama so far. There's little bits of action, there's tons of palace intrigue, and there's this dynamic between your worst enemy is your closest friend. And and that is pretty, pretty cool. Park Yoon Min, who plays Lee Hui, actually does a pretty good job pretending to be a man. There's bits of a revenge story unfolding here as well. Leading up to episodes 3 and 4, Da Mi, who is now playing the prince, reunites with her first love, Jung Ji Eun. And that is a dynamic that is going to shake things up for sure. How will her revenge play out, knowing that she loves the man whose father is her worst enemy? Really good acting, very good plot, the story is starting to unfold before our eyes, and I can't wait to see what the episodes has in store for us. One thing that's really interesting is that how does Da Mi navigate this relationship between her and Jung Ji Eun? He is her first love, and in order to keep her secret alive, she has to pretty much get rid or kill anyone who stands in her way. And of course, her revenge story. How do you love the man whose father happens to be your worst enemy? Those are questions that are stirring up so many things in my mind and I'm looking forward to see how the story unfolds. I hope you're watching this and you hope you're enjoying it so far. Leave your comments in the section below on what you think is going to happen in the next couple of episodes. And how good was that child actress playing both characters, Dami and the Crown Prince? So far so good, I'm definitely giving this drama an A+. In any case, that is it for me guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Leave your comments in the section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Tap that bell so you know when we post new videos. And once again, I'll see you next time. Hey, stop,